This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. TV Welcome to Live for Love TV, the 24th day of the sixth month of the 21st year in the 21st century. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Well, you guys know, everybody knows that um, Live for Love TV is a recent channel that's come onto the YouTube for only a few months old. And it hasn't taken very long for someone out there in the YouTube world to clip one of the uh, Live for Love videos and to splice it with somebody else's video that they've also spliced and claim that the two of us are in a debate. Well, if anybody sees that video, you let them know that that's not a debate. That's not a debate. A debate is when two people agree to a debate and one is speaking and the other is speaking. You don't take somebody's video, clip it, and then take another person's video and clip it, and then claim it's a debate. I know maybe you're looking for views, maybe you're looking for ratings. I mean, the, the, the channel that's done that claims to be a black channel. But if that's a black channel, well, I could, you can see where our problem is. If somebody wants any content from me or wants to use my content, you come to me. You claim to be a brother or sister, you come to me, you ask me if you can use my content, and you tell me what you'll be using it for and how you'll be using it. And maybe we can agree on something. But to actually take content from this channel and then take content from somebody else's stuff, even if it is your, even if it is your content that you're using from the other brethren, the other brethren is not debating me. He's not heard my video. You've clipped an old video from his and a video from mine and tried to put them together. And this ain't no way of progressing. But what I want people to know, especially our Live for Love um, viewers right now, what I want you to know is, that whenever I have a, any point or any position we take as Live for Love people, all of us, just remember this because we're, we're about the love. We're not about the anger and the hate and the fear and the war and the threats and the verses and the him against and the clashes. We're not about that. We didn't start this thing. We didn't come into this to clash. We have energy that we don't need another person to hate before we feel good about ourselves. So anybody who wants to go around clashing versus, and I know that that's popular on YouTube. That's not what Live for Love TV is about. Live for Love is an upliftment channel. It's for uplifting people, uplifting our people. Now, and, and I say our people, that's all people. Yeah, all people that want upliftment, that feel that goodness about one another and understand the energy and how vibration works. That's what Live for Love TV is about. So as I said, that channel, I prefer if they take it down rather than me having to go to YouTube and requesting they take down the content that they didn't request from me. Yeah? Because as a Black person, I'll speak to that person one-on-one -on -one directly. I don't have to go around corners to YouTube first. It's directly. So if you see this video, you can, and you see the other video I'm talking about, it's, um, I, think, I, don't, I think the title is Who Has the Right to Be a Rasta or a Rastafarian. If you see that video, you can point out to whoever put that video out that that video really shouldn't be up and it shouldn't be um, put about that I'm in a debate with anybody. And I said, Live for Love TV doesn't deal with debates. We're dealing with consciousness and upliftment for a people, for every people and for all people. It doesn't matter to me where consciousness comes from. It doesn't matter to me where your consciousness comes from. A conscious man is not somebody or who says they know it and you don't know it. There's 7.34 billion people on this planet. And when you have people telling you that they know stuff and it's as if they know everything and people, other people don't know, that's the most unconscious people you're going to come across. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, these are not conscious people. You've got 7.3 billion people on the planet and somebody will come to you and say that, but I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. I'm not asking you, no, Bridget, I'm telling you. They can't tell you nothing. If you're conscious, just walk away from them. You're not going to learn anything from people like that. There's always going to be people that know more than you, and there's always going to be people who know less than you. The conscious person is the one who realizes 
that there is all type of people living on all parts of the planet, uh, privy to all kind of information, all kind of studies, all kind of books, all kind of anything that you could think of. And they know things you will not know. They'll know things that you'll live to 100 and you'll never know. And you're going to know things that other people don't know. So a conscious person is aware of all of these things. A conscious person is the kind of person that comes into a room when three or four people are talking and discussing a subject. And they sit and they listen to hear the subject before they open their mouths. And when they do come in, yeah, they got their view. They put their view down. And the three or four people discuss their views. It's a reasoning. But if any one of those people come up with a reasoning that the rest in the room cannot argue with, then the conscious person is the one who takes that reasoning and comes away with it and lives and uses it. And it doesn't matter how the person looked that they got it from. It doesn't matter if it's a female, a male, if they're black, white, Chinese, Indian, it doesn't matter if they're tall or short, old or young. That consciousness wanted to come through who it came through. And you picked it up that way and you take it and you run with it. Don't let anybody tell you that you're conscious when you take information just from one place or in one way. If you do that, that cannot be consciousness in a planet with 7.3 billion people on it. That's not sensible. There's no sense in that whatsoever. So stay conscious, stay together, respect one another. I know a lot of people out there love the clashes and the verses, and yeah, it's okay. It may be a little bit entertainment, but the trouble is with it, just like with this video the person's put out, people will start calling people names because they have different views for them. People will say, I think I saw one comment say, why the dread, the dread, the rent are dread. And what's the purpose of them calling me? Do they know me? No. Are they actually dealing with the subject matter that I'm dealing with? Not really. All they're, all they're saying is I'm a rent a dread because they disagree with something I'm saying. Now that's not an intelligent person. And whoever knows somebody like that, and it goes for your live for love viewers as well. If anybody says something different to what I'm saying, you can disagree with that person, but do not insult that person's character. Do not attack their personal, their personality or their person. Yeah, don't do that if you're a live for love person, because if, if you do that, I know you're moving away from love. That's not how love operates. You can disagree with, co with the things that come out of a person's mouth without attacking that person's personal character. People change. People who had views, when you, the views most of us had 20 years ago is not the ones we have today. So if people are going to attack us for everything we've said at any given point, we're going to be attacking one another forevermore. And that's what's happening. You can see it all over the world. People are attacking people for their views and their ideology. And then later on, they're saying, well, this man turned Rasta, and this man turned Christian, I know him turned from Christian to Muslim. And if you hold everybody to everything they've said, you're going to be in a very bad place when it comes to your consciousness. You have to understand that we are one unit. We have different views and we are at different places. If you disagree with people's ideology, you can leave them on the other side of the road and you can step on your side of the road. There's no problem with that, but there doesn't have to be any hate there. You don't have to look across the road and think, I hate that person because they think so different from me. Most of us differ from people in our families. Most of us different from our parents. Most of our views different from our own children. A lot of us differ from our, even our friends. We have completely different views, but they're our friends. We, we understand that. We love them. We love them as our family. They don't have to agree with us for us to love them. This is the sight of a person who is not conscious. This is a sight of a person who is hateful within when they think that people have to agree with their ideology in order for them to feel good about them, being around them and loving them. That, that, that's ridiculous, you know? So like I said, I'm not in any clash with anybody. Live for Love TV will never be in any clash with anybody. Um, I know the brethren that's on the video is not in any clash with Live for Love TV. I'm sure he probably doesn't even know Live for Love TV. So his position is his position and he has a right to it. And no one should insult him for his position. You can argue with his position if you disagree with it, but nobody should insult him for his position. I would not endorse that. I don't want, pe I want people to be able to speak freely around us. This is what reasoning and consciousness is about. If you start to insult people's character and personality, they'll withdraw their views. They'll withdraw how they truly feel. And they'll still feel how they feel, but you won't know it. And then all of a sudden, when it comes up and bites you, you're going to wonder, I didn't realize she thought like that about me. Oh, I didn't realize he thought. Of course we didn't. Because you're attacking the person's character and, and people are not going to sit there and allow you to attack their character and speak out and speak the truth to you. So be careful how you speak to people, show some love to people, understand that we are different and we have different views, 
but we have the same arms and legs and eyes and teeth and everything. We're the same. And soon or one day, you'll be in that piece of dirt that's not too far from the piece of dirt that I'm in. So let's have some love on Live for Love TV. Check, it, check you back soon. Beep, 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 beep. One step more.